Judge Jordan came to the Supreme Court in Richmond today to face charges he violated the constitutional rights of those who came before his court. Specifically, by convicting and sentencing defendants in the absence of complaining witnesses, issuing bench warrants for witnesses, and delaying bond for defendants who wanted to appeal their cases. In a three-page opinion read by the clerk, the court ruled there is clear and convincing evidence that Judge Jordan has committed each of the acts charged and that such acts violated the canons of judicial conduct. It ordered the 55-year-old jurist censured for conduct prejudicial to the proper administration of justice. Afterwards, Judge Jordan declined to comment specifically on the censure, an act legal experts consider a reprimand or a slap on the wrist. Judge, you had said earlier that you thought the charges against you were political. Do you still think that? Well, you have my comments as to what I think about the charges. Judge, you look Does that mean you're standing on your earlier comment? There's no change in my view, if that's your question. The Supreme Court also had the options of clearing Judge Jordan or removing him from the judgeship he has held for the last two years. The middle option of censure, Judge Jordan said, didn't make him feel any differently now than he did before. Judge Jordan says he'll now return to just being a general district court judge. When asked if the judicial inquiry and censure would change his conduct from the bench, he said you'll just have to visit my courtroom to find out. Joan Gartland, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Richmond.